Welcome to my Robinhood desktop interface reveal. Also, a beginner's guide to stocks and Robinhood. So, uh, here is my account. This is my total money here and how much I earned and lost and whatever. All together, they lump it all together. They don't really separate it here. But you want to start looking at it individually, you have to go in here individually. But first, before I do that, uh, so this is my total buying power right here. This is how much money I have been deposited and been sitting here. Uh, and then here's the option here. The search menu is not that great. You can't just manually search. It's like all the stuff you want in a in an orderly it fashion. It's kind of like kind of random. So you got a lot of stuff here. Uh, now, of course, you could could search and buy money. See if I want to say, hey, penny stocks. Uh, you know, so I look for this. I'm searching them by money amount. So I can find some cheap ones for 56 cents or whatever, you know what I mean? And see how they've been doing for the whole week, right? Uh, or or like a month or whatever. Uh, anyways, if I like them, I can click here, add them here to list. I can follow. I can follow them, and blah blah blah. And then I can also put them here on my list. Okay, whoops. No, oh, that's my favorite list, which is not really my favorite list. It's the list they put there because they want me to follow them. Uh, but these are the menus here. Uh, I can actually add these to my real list, uh, which I'm not going to right now. But anyways, um, let me go here. All right, so that's this right here. This right here, uh, basically movers, uh, top movers. And so, yeah, it's trying to recommend me this just because I quickly looked at one of these. So it's recommending me this right here. They're showing me the top ones, really interesting ones for them, I guess. Uh, anyways, down here, it's showing me uh, the news, right? Relative, like, hey, look at Tesla, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I do own a Tesla stock, so that's what they're trying to show me Tesla's news and other similar tech, tech industry news. I don't have Apple, but they're showing me Apple anyways because it's similar to the stock they already have to check them out hey right look, check a look here look i did look at this one so they're trying to tell hey, look at the news look what's going on right here just because i looked at it right uh but anyways uh so yeah those those oh, a lot of that is relatively news right uh now now i was going to show you this part over here right uh so right here i could say hey i've been how much money have been making today on my total returns right oh what are my total uh what are my total returns of period my total return not just not just for today but total right there it is, right? And, or, or you could just look by li just look at it by listed price. How much is it right now, right? And then uh, I just like to leave it at total price because I want to see how much I'm losing them and making. I don't lose and make a lot because I I buy them for like one dollar or two dollars and then I see much they grow. Hey, it's it's good practice, right? Uh, so you know I don't lose a lot or make a lot. It's good practice. See, uh, he's that list again. I don't really care about that list. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, you could do that. And this has the same option too. It just separates this for some reason. I don't know why cryptocurrency likes to separate them here. Uh, but anyways, like look at this one, right? I lost, right? There was a, there was this was a pump and drop on YouTube where a lot of YouTubers were pumping this up, and then when I bought it, and then they dropped it. Uh, so they dropped it on me, but I only bought it for a dollar. So, you know, I lost a lot of pennies, I guess. So I'm down, down to 15 cents. Uh, so that's what it is, right? Um, uh, now, uh, let me see here. It can be, it gives, it doesn't give you a lot of information, but it says, Hey, look, 97 employees, San Diego, California. That's where it's at. Found in 2003, blah, blah. So it gives you basic information. And right here, it gives you more of a nice graph, right? It gives you a nice graph that we can really look at the graph in different ways, right? You can look at the graph in that. You can look at the graph that way. Change take that off right here that's what i do down here uh i can change these right here and look at the graph in different ways right oh uh, you know what i mean and also you know and the graph also has this option too like for five years or for a week or so or the day right uh you know and then you also have live right now i don't have live right here uh i don't know why it's showing me live but i i have seen live before let me see here let's see sell right sell i can sell for Hmm, let me see available. Okay. Hmm. And I can see I'll put it here, but I did see it's kind of it's got weird menus, but uh, Well, here it is right buying right say if I want to this is the uh, when I buy it this way On this a market order is manual. This is manual a way of buying stuff This is more like an automatic right listed price of the shares or whatever and then I want to stop price at this certain price right now really or stop stop in limits of uh, buying so I want to Try to set this stuff automatically. I could do that, right? Uh, this would be back to manual, right? Or sell, right? Especially when you're selling stuff, right? You want to put limits uh, and 
and stopping prices wherever they're at, right? And to, you can also put snippets and stops right all together. Oh yeah, this is expires, right? Expires, all these options have expiration date of just today or for 90 days. Uh, you'll, they all have them, right? If I go here, uh, this one has it too. They're all the same, right? Uh, except these change when I change these menus up here. Um, now, um, let me go back to buy. So buying, uh, the great thing, the great thing is for most of them, you they have a, a, a limit. Um, minimum. Well, let's start with the minute. A one dollar minimum. That's really great because you can, like I said, good for beginners. One dollar minimums are really great for beginners. So a lot of them do have the capability of one dollar minimums. Maximum is whatever money you have in your account. Like right here, I have seventeen dollars. So that's my maximum. Anyways, if I miss anything here, let me know. I'll be sure to post it um, or answer your questions just in the comments. Uh, if I miss anything there now here we go to cash right people want to know hey is it free or, or does it cost money to use uh, Robinhood well it's free because here it is um, I bought a penny I wanted to see if it's gonna charge me so I, I deposit a penny no charge I deposit $20 no charge $1 no charge so it's been free for depositing also for withdrawals right so I went here change here change here and I did a withdrawal I could do automatically pay by check and it and it was free to withdraw and deposit to and also uh, buying, right? I bought Lucky Martin Amazon for free. See, they didn't charge me anything. So I bought it for two dollars. No charge, no additional charges. It's just whatever it was exactly, right? Also for selling, I have sold some stocks and it was free. So it is free to buy and sell, and and also deposit and withdraw. That's all free. And signing up, by the way, signing up. That's very important. When you sign up, that's also free. So yeah. And then how so you wonder well, well, how they make money. Well, they make money. One of the ways they make money is by the money sitting in your account. Like they get the interest of the money sitting in your account. Although, like the seventeen dollars right here will sit seventeen dollars here forever. And there, I mean, they're just, the seventeen dollars is not going to disappear. It's going to sit here forever as long as I want to. But they do make an interest off of that. Now, of course, you want to see, hey, what's going on? What I have done? What I have done? And what you know? What's been going on? Right? So here it says, hey, uh, your deposit one dollar Robinhood account is completed. Okay, cool. So it's complete for sure. Okay, now it gives you recommendations. This is a computer, so computers are like, hey, look, you got this much, blah blah blah, and your spending limit, instant spending limits are one thousand. So basically, uh, that's so Robinhood won't get robbed. Because if you deposit like two thousand dollars, and you don't want to wait a week to your money to get deposited, and you want to buy stocks right now, you can buy up to that thousand dollars right now, and then you can cancel your uh deposit and try to steal from Robinhood, but that's why they have the limit right here so you know that's your options this is like i said this is a computer so you can't customize your uh, chat with the computer this is the only options you have to reply back to the computer now you could talk to Robinhood essentially by going to accounts and contacting them uh but i did it and yeah i it's been a week and they haven't replied back to me so you know just to be honest Oh, so yeah, it's kind of a down. I mean, I like that it's free, but uh, customer service is not that really great. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't remember if anything I was going to show you, but that's about even pretty much it. Uh, if you like my review, I try to make as detailed as possible. Uh, please uh, go down uh, to, uh, you know, down on the link. I I will uh, give you a free stock under down the link. You click on my link, and it'll give you a free stock, and it'll also give me a free stock. Look, let me show you a free stock that I have gotten. Here's my free stock that I've got right here. See, cost zero dollars. Why? Because I got this stock for free. So you know, I got it by clicking the link, and you could too. If you click on my link, you'll get a free stock, and I will get a free stock for you signing up through my link. So I benefit from that. So you know, if you like, if you like my review, please feel free to check it out. Signing, I did, I did say they're signing up for free, but you're gonna have to put your social security number uh, and a lot of your personal information uh, to sign up to Robinhood. So it is personal information inquire, but it is free. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.